Hello everyone, this is David, and I'm back again making another video. And uh, today I'm going to update the uh, firmware on the Cycle Satiator. Now you can see here that the firmware version is 1.013. I'm going to be updating it to 1.014. Uh, this is 2016 and um, there's a June update. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take care of that. So I'm going to show you some of the steps and what things you're going to need in order to make the firmware update. So on the satiator, this is about it. You can see that um, this is 1.013. And you can see some of my totals here of um, of my uh, of my usage. Okay, guys. In order to update the firmware. You're going to need this cable. This is from uh, Grin Technologies. This is, a, I think, a special proprietary cable that you'll need. Um, I purchased mine at LunaCycle, but you can go ahead and purchase it at any uh, Grin Technologies vendor. So this is what it looks like, and I'm going to go ahead and um, connect this to my computer. Okay, so in order to get to the mode to connect to the PC, you press the two buttons down. Let me see if I can do this. And then you go down to connect PC. And then it's ready for a connection. Hey guys, so I'm at the um, ebikes.ca website under the Cycle Satiator. You're gonna go down to the downloads and you're going to get the newest one. Uh, depending on which software you have, Windows, Linux, or Mac. Over here it says the current release is 1.014 and this is June 1st, 2016. So I connected to my Cycle Satiator. I do have all these ones. I'm going to edit some of them. And then I'm going to do an update. But I'm going to save some of these profiles as well, just in case. Okay, so I made some changes to the um, cycle satiator. Um, I started to satiate my batteries. Um, I found that 80% was a little too much. So um, I brought it down to 90% charge. If you click on it, this is, for instance, my 48 volt battery. Now it's going to be charged to 53.3. And maybe the old, old all cell that I have, this could be a 90% charge, maybe 41 volts. And my little Sanyo, I'm gonna do to 53.32 as well. And um, that's really about it. You can see some of my pro profiles, how many cycles and charges and stuff like that on some of these profiles. The one that I use the most is this uh, Dr. Chopper one. This is a 20 amp hour battery that I have. I've been charging it all the way up. And you can see I have about 125 cycles. So I want to give it a break. want to um, uh, ha um, last a little bit longer because the place where I bought this battery, Luna Cycle, you can't, um, it's usually sold out. It was not sold out, but it's discontinued. This is a, um, Nice uh, battery that had 26F uh, Panasonic cells in it. And I don't think they really sell anymore. But it's one of the best batteries that I have. This is the workhorse. So I saved all my stuff. And now I'm going to save this um, profile. So I'm just going to go up here and do save profiles and device. And then I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to save it to this update here. So what I did was I saved all my profiles and now I'm going to update the um, the firmware. So I'm going to go here to file and then I'm going to go to update satiator firmware. So 
Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm going to have to browse first. And then you see how he says 1.14? So I did this, I downloaded yesterday since I have two satiators. So I'm going to double click on this one. So now it's loaded up. And now I'm ready to update it. And it'll probably give me an error message once it's done, but we'll see. And then I'll just reboot it and make sure that the firmware has been updated. So let's go ahead and update this firmware. It only takes about a minute or two, hopefully. So it's going along. And then once it's done, I'm going to disconnect this from the computer. And then I'm going to check the cycle satiator to see if the profiles are correct. Now last time I did this, which was yesterday, I updated the cycle satiator and I had a little bit of a error message at the end of this. But it looks like it did it anyway. It was correct. So it's chugging along, chugging along. These uh, cycle satiator videos that I make usually have the lowest amount of viewers on YouTube with all my videos. But I think it's important too because uh, Grin doesn't really make too many how-to videos. I wish they made a little bit more, but maybe this might be uh, helpful in someone who has one of these cycle satiators. Okay, so this is the error message, permission error, cannot open serial. So I'm going to press OK. I think that's OK. I'm going to press close. And then I'm going to um, exit out. And here I am. I forgot one step, which was to save all these profiles. So I got the 36 all cell, 90%. Everything looks good. So now I'm going to go and save it. So I'm going to go to File and Save Data to Satiator. It looks like it's done. Okay, I'm back again. And you can see I got that error message, but I just unplugged it. I rebooted it. And you can see now that the firmware is 1.014. So this is successful. I'm going to go review the profiles and then hook up my battery, and this will be the end of the video. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Take care. Goodbye.